Gigabyte's X299 motherboard lineup features a range of options with support for Intel's Core X series CPUs. Boards like the Aorus X299 Gaming 7 are packed with useful features and support Optane memory, Thunderbolt 3, and USB 3.1 Gen 2. Click the link in the description for more information. Excellent! What's up guys, welcome to my weekend vlog. I have lots to do today. Uh, you might hear some dogs going crazy behind me because they're getting ready to go on a very exciting walk this morning. They're super excited for that. Uh, I have lots to do this weekend, so I thought I'd take you guys along for the ride. Of course, the ongoing project out here in the living room main area of getting all of my stuff from the past video where I did a bunch of cleanup actually put back where it's supposed to be, so we'll do that later on. Uh, also gonna be doing some, some uh, e-waste recycling which is also usually really exciting. But I do have a piece of technology that I'm gonna kinda take along for the ride for today. So uh, let's, let's, it's, it actually just showed up. It's right over here. Yes, this box, let's get this open. So I've stopped by the Goodwill Donation Center uh, to drop off the stuff that was still useful. And I want to point out right now that I'm not using the, the XL2 anymore to record. I'm back on the standard Pixel XL, or the, and this is the Pixel 2 XL. I don't know what's going on here, but when I try to load the camera, it's just giving me nothing. It's giving me nothing, Google. I try to launch the, the camera so I can keep vlogging today. I got nothing. Camera keeps stopping. For now though, my errands are pretty much done, except for one. The e-waste place was accepting all of the electronics, but they were not accepting actual batteries. Discovered that my local Ace Hardware can can, can take those, because you shouldn't throw batteries, never throw batteries in the trash. Heavy metals get into the water supply that way, that's a bad thing to do. Uh, so final stop, Ace Hardware, and let's see if I can turn those batteries in. Told to go out here. Hey, well, you now I'm just lost out behind Ace Hardware. It's cool. So I looked at the high voltage sign and I was like, "It's maybe it's right there." Oh, here it is. Yeah, they. Uh, here's where you can return CFL bulbs. They got big piles here, and then this is the battery recycling disposal. You just leave it in the pile. Hooray for being responsible and environmentally friendly. I've done the right thing. Here's another test with my Pixel 2 XL. I am just uh, clicking the camera button in the Hangouts app and seeing what happens. I believe I clicked it. Yeah, I did. It's locked up. So anytime I try to use the camera, which I was doing this morning just fine, I, I'm, I'm going to pull the video off of this, so hopefully you've been watching some of that so far. Uh, the cameras just stopped working, and any app that tries to to access it will will freeze, and then it will ask me if I want to restart it. I've restarted the phone several times. I'm gonna try a restore on it, and I've tweeted to Google to see if I can get some help. But um, for now, I'm gonna switch them back to using this for the rest of this vlog. I did a factory reset and it is done basic setup. I didn't do the transfer of my stuff onto it this time. Um, okay. Wow. I, I kind of thought the factory reset would have fixed it.
Indonesia. Well, guys, it is Sunday now, and yesterday was a little bit frustrating, a little bit disappointing, at least when it comes to my uh, new phone, my Pixel 2 XL. And as you probably saw, at least part of what was going down, uh, it's my my camera is just not working on this. The really frustrating thing, and the thing that kind of made me stop doing work on this video yesterday was after realizing that the camera wasn't functioning properly, tweeting about it because after I went on the Pixel uh, uh, page, like the support page to see what I'm supposed to do, it's like, hey, tweet to Pixel. So I was like, right, I'm gonna tweet to made by, er, tweet to at made by Google. So I did that, got a bunch of feedback from fans and stuff like that. And then I was, as I was kind of going over what I might do to fix the problem, several people suggested a factory reset, which I did on the phone, just completely blanked at all the footage that I recorded yesterday morning of the dogs on a wonderful dog walk with bunches of other dogs. I had cute dog footage that would have been included in this video that now is not because I, that wasn't the phone's fault. That was my fault for not copying and backing that stuff up before I did the factory reset. Anyway, long story short, this is going back. Uh, I got a, a refund RMA for it um, and I'm just, just gonna return it for a refund. So yay, now I don't have to do a review on the Pixel XL2. Pixel 2 XL. But also this morning I posted my video of the cleanup time lapse that's been going on over the past couple weeks and I'm looking at here and I'm like what have, what have I really actually done? Uh, I have organized some stuff and as mentioned in that video I have made some progress but um, I'm not feeling like I've really gotten the progress progressed enough unless out here is back to where it should be. So today is Sunday. I'm gonna set up that overhead uh, storage thing in the garage and move a bunch of this stuff out and I'm probably going to do another bit of a time lapse to add to this vlog video. Anyway, that's my introduction for Sunday. I'm going to get to work. Here goes. To cheer myself up from the loss of my Pixel 2 XL, I'm, I'm going to unbox these boxes that uh, have recently arrived. Uh, this one has already started, but not completed. Always remember to use more than one hand when uh, cutting something with a knife. 1070 Ti, we meet again. This one's from EVGA. It is it's the normal, it's their normal one. See, they can't even put SC on there because they, the manufacturers have to ship them all at the same frequency. Uh, but I believe this is their SC version, as far as the cooler goes. Anyway, uh, I'll get to this later. Next up though, can you figure out where this one's from? Uh, this one was hand delivered and it should be another 1070 Ti. Wow, these just, they're all over the place right now. This one is from Zotac. This is their mini little fan cooler, and it's actually uh, perfect timing because uh, it's going to replace a Founders Edition in there. So maybe I should swap that out real quick. There is my 1070 Ti collection thus far uh, because Nvidia was bored. They're like, yeah, let's make 1070 Ti. We're bored. And here's the entry level Threadripper build with the updated graphics card. Zotac GTX 1070 Ti Mini. Gives a little bit more space in there. And it still only uses the single 8 pin power connector. Also, the white LED, the Zotac logo, and the white LED Enermax logo, I think, match a little bit better. And uh, I still need to load Windows, but uh, the LED on the motherboard could probably be made to match or, you know, a color would go with the uh, otherwise white LEDs and black stuff. 
so cool. So now it's time for a little epilogue for my video because uh, on Monday, after my weekend vlog was supposed to be complete, Joe came over, my editor, he has been coming over on Mondays to help me out, uh, get, get a head start on video work for the week, which has been actually working out really great. Um, but I still had this like cleaning project that wasn't finished and I, I ended up getting frustrated and, and, and that kind of sucked. But if I can offer words of encouragement to you guys out there, if you're ever feeling overwhelmed, frustrated, things are too cluttered, there's too much going on. Just remember, you can take a deep breath, take a step back from it, try not to get too frustrated and come back to it another day. Um, so that's what I did, and over the past 24, 48 hours, I have uh, gotten to a point where I can say, I think things are pretty, pretty looking pretty good here. Uh, so let me do a quick once over just to give you guys uh, the, the, the finished product. So living room area one is our home theater configuration, and um, apart from the stuff on the shelves, everything is pretty much where it should be. Turning around to this area, our very well-worn couch. We haven't gotten a new couch because we have dogs and this couch is, we're gonna use this couch until it falls apart, I think. Um, but as you can see, things are fairly tidy there. And then looking over into the far area where most of the work has been going on. Wow. Dining table is clear. We can eat food and meals on the dining table. Um, like my wife was really Really, she is really in a good mood uh, when she came home last night, largely because of this, so that is happy. Beyond that, um, of course, you're still gonna see a few things around, and I'll try to point out what's what. Um, just some empty tables over here. Uh, those boxes are, are there permanently, for the most part. This gray sheet uh, is covering all the stuff that I'm gonna be clearing out, and that's mainly covered with the gray sheet, because if I didn't do that, the comments in this video would be full of people asking me for the things under that pile, so sorry. Just to avoid that, I've put a sheet over it. Um, my cornhole board, of course. Uh, I need to find a better long-term home for that, but it's uh, just blocking the fireplace for now, as well as the, uh, the walnut wood that I got to make the final HTPC. Air for the dogs over here is pretty well contained as well. There are still some pieces of my wife's old desk. I'm going to be moving those to uh, outside, actually, once I start getting the outside area set up. These are some donation items, either donation or e-waste, just empty boxes. These are the retail boxes and packaging for the entry-level Threadripper build that I put together, and that's going to be a giveaway, so all those are going to go out as well. We need a better place to store our vacuum cleaners, I guess. But if you're looking at all this loveliness out here and you're thinking, well, he probably just put everything back in the garage, Let's go take a look. And here is the garage. Well, there's Hero. He's taking a little nap there. Uh, here's the garage itself, and I know there's lots of wires and stuff around, which probably makes it a little bit harder to appreciate the cleanliness and organizedness of this area out here, but uh, let's start on the right since I've showed you this before. Washer dryer. I made a shelf over there. That's convenient. Uh, and then, of course, the like normal garagey stuff, which is over on this side, which I've Pulled it all out, cleaned, reorganized, and put the overhead rack up here too. Overhead rack is storing boxes of stuff that is currently in use. So most of these are empty boxes on this side, just so I can easily get at them and pull them down if I take a product out of the rotation and need to mix that back in. But uh, garage stuff, hardware, ladders, um, gardening tools, everything over there. This is my in pile, stuff that has arrived that I need to do something with one way or another. Nicely organized over here. Uh, some tripods and whatnot. I have a little bit of space on the desk, monitor, water cooling stuff. 
uh, NVIDIA graphics cards, AMD graphics cards, all of my motherboards that I'm hanging on to. Even got some more space down there. I have a few that aren't in boxes I still need to arrange there. Workbench is uh, mostly in good shape. Work table is mostly clear. This laptop I am reformatting to hand over to Jenny because hers died recently and she needs something to, she can take around. This is a G73J from Asus, old school ROG. Had a lot of use out of that, but it's got an SSD in it, so it's still good. Uh, this is, of course, my building tools over here, my entry-level Threadripper system, which has uh, been recently tested. That video should be up very soon. And then, of course, we have the charity event coming up that will allow people to possibly win this system or do a donation in order to potentially win that. And then, of course, my main work area over here. Still very nice and tidy, especially the shelves up here that have, again, been rearranged and dusted off and all of that good stuff. Oh, it's so nice. So yeah, wow, does it feel good to have finally gotten this kind of where I, where I feel like it should be. Uh, I do, of course, have another big project coming up. I'm going to start working on outside, garage work log, more tech videos coming very soon. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up button if you did. Thank you all so much for your watching and supporting of my channel. And just in case you're not getting notifications, uh, if you do hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, little notification icons. That'll uh, help you see actually when my videos post and they'll uh, appear in your subscriber feed. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you next time.